not surprised the yellow card is going to come out for Dimitri. He's the English-born player. I did wonder if he'd play midfield at right back. He seems to be playing more at right back in the early stages. From a Leighton Orient player is now at Larnaca. Well, this has just been right through the back, isn't it? I mean, Jamie Mack is just shielding it. He's trying to get his body in front of him. A centre forward, not signed on. But it's straight through the back of him. That's a sore one. Okay. there by a friend ah it's off the crossbar McGregor was beaten so nearly first blood to Cyprus it's for Miller no flag this time Miller on his own An attempt and goal at last well it's an attempt at goal he's not actually on goal I mean it's for those runs that Kenny does he likes to make those channel runs off the central defenders into the channels and he's done it absolutely fantastic and it's, it's a ploy that Scotland were doing in training before the Liechtenstein game before the Spain game of long diagonal passes in between better on the run on the move good control and that's a fine goal from Kenny Miller oh that's a terrific strike from the top scorer in the Scotland team, that's number 16 and cap number 58. And it's a collector's item for Kenny Miller. Well, I'll tell you what, Liam, that is a wonder goal. If that's a Brazilian, that's talked about. It's unbelievable, his first touch set him up. He knows the goalkeeper's in a position, and he knows it. Just as he's cooled off, he's just had the chance a second to go. But this time, his first touch sets him up. That's an unbelievable finish from Kenny Miller. It was all about the first touch, wasn't it? As the ball came through, great control. And Miller puts the Scots 1-0 up, and it's been difficult for them. Yeah. Oh, wasn't the intended target, Dobrosinovic. Have a pop here. This woodwork again from Cyprus. Well, it's another great effort. That time coming from Sinisa Dobrosinovic. Midfield's get caught wanted and Dobrosinovic is, is on his own, he's, you've let him strike, there's nobody close to him. And now Scotland will find out that he can actually strike the ball and he's not far away, is he? A couple of inches of woodwork. That time the greater wasn't getting there. There's a big shake for handball, not interested, the referee. Scottish players in the arms up, this is Robson, Bardsley, good PD to play, Scotland, Craig Levine wants the penalty. Well, he's just asking questions of the fourth official, isn't he? he's got the right to ask, you know, he speaks to them, and you just wonder as the ball's just going there, it's as clear as day, isn't it? Robson takes it short, James Morrison, oh, he's unlucky. There's a little bit of noise in there, isn't it? He's not a small goalkeeper, but he's not a, a, a big six foot seven, but James Morrison going, just going for a little bit of technique. Goalkeeper still has to keep his eye on it. It's on target. Yeah, oh, certainly. You yeah. mentioned earlier, he, Liam, that Cyprus as well have got massive key players out. Ocas, good goal scorer. Stand to do. Another top goal scorer for them. Yeah, the two, two key players for them. Key player for Scotland tonight is Jamie Mackey, and that is a fantastic goal from Jamie Mackey, and thoroughly deserved in his performance. Scotland double up, two nothing. Well, you get to a stage when you're watching players like Jamie Mackey, you think, is his luck going to be out tonight? Because he's getting the chances. His last ditch tackle's been made and blocking his shot. But I'll tell you what. You know, when he gets the ball, you know, I know it's mistakes made from the city defenders, but when the possessions went back, Jamie Mackey's only got one thing in his mind is to take the defenders on. He does that, nice little shuffle, and the composure he shows at the end of it. But that's great pressing, that's what I like to see Scotland pressing high up the park, because that's what they're good at. Are you watching Archie Gemmell? Great strike from Jamie Mackey, just terrific. 
slalomed his way towards the goal, finds the corner. And a year on from his last cap and first international goal, he gets his second international goal. Silas threaded through here for Christophe. Silas have hit back. It's another good goal tonight. Not so good for the Scots, but you have to say, Cyprus deserves something, and they've got a foothold back in this friendly international, thanks to Dimitris Christofi, who scores just his third international goal. Well, what can I say? He's had a fantastic game so far, hasn't he? But again, Phil Barsley falls asleep. His movement's absolutely fantastic, coming off a line, getting in behind Phil Barsley. He's got a look up as well. Looks like he's going to cross it. He's not. He's cut across the ball into Alan McGregor's right-hand post. But I must admit, he's been one of the shining lights for Cyprus.